This is episode number 157 of the Homeowner Show. With your DIY or look at hire, we're here to help you find the best information and options for you and your home. My name is Kevin Hackett, and here with me is Greg Williams. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Homeowner Show. We're glad that you could join us tonight for this live episode of the Homeowner Show from the Homeowner Show Studios. How you right. Kev? Man, I'm fantastic. You're all smooth. Running. Well, <laughs> if you want to look at this, here it is. I told you it was coming. Football season Football's is here. It's here. Yep. I told you it was coming. There's the dun, 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 dun. I knew it was coming. I was waiting. I didn't do it. I, um, never, I took it out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just uh, audio engineers at their best. Well. And it's it's not like we haven't done a hun- this 157 times. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I told you it was coming. Um, I did I did not show you. It's on my phone, which is used being used as camera. But I did take the picture. Oh, you told me that the fisticuffs picture. Oh, did you really? I, oh, dude, you gotta share that. It's, I I know it's just on my phone, and but it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I showed your dad, and he was like, "Dude, that's good. That's, it was good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it I was, was impressed good. when you called me. Yeah. I, and, yeah. And so, like, you you Facetime me. Yeah. I, I had to show someone. Immediately started laughing. Yeah, you did. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, so, did you keep it the rest of the day, like we talked? Well, I that was the plan. Uh huh. And um, my wife saw me and threatened my life. Right. If I didn't shave it off before I left, I met your wife, dude. and uh, she ain't taking nobody's life. Uh. You've not seen my wife at her um, fiercest. Uh huh. Um, I think she can get she, angry, but I mean, I, let's just put it this way: I would have been miserable for a while. How long? It was not worth it. How long? Long enough. Let's let's run the like, numbers. Like, probably a week. That's worth it. No, not worth it. Not worth it. She can't hang in there for a week. I think, I, and I can <laughs> confidently say that because she never listens to this. <laughs> Well, that's true. She's not going to hear this. That's right. There's no way. She's listened to less episodes than your wife. Well, so, that's probably accurate. Yeah. Yeah. So. What anyway. else has been going on, man? Oh, man. Uh, so. Other uh, than Smooth Kevin being back. Well, I. Um, can we can we actually, can we officially title Smooth Kevin? Smooth Kevin? I mean. <laughs> it lasts like three months of the year, right? Yeah, it's, it's here for just long enough to. I don't, I don't it's care. your alter ego? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Whatever. You should hashtag that. When you post the picture. Well, I will tell you this. Like, so since the beginning of the year, I've lost over 30 pounds. Uh huh. And so. Not just in mustache. No, <laughs> well, that's the thing is, uh, I was wondering this week how much, whenever I shaved it off, I got a picture of it like all in the sink. It's right. Yeah. Still half the sink is full. Um, uh, but uh, it, it did shock me a little bit. My face is a little slimmer than it was the oh. last time I had clean shaven. Okay. Face. So, yeah, it's good stuff. So, nice. Anyway, uh, I, uh, you asked me what's going on. I mean, there's there's a lot, dude. So so tonight, to in tonight's episode, we're we're just gonna kind of talk through some different things going on at our house. Yeah. Uh, because we've got a lot of interesting new things happening, or or maybe just crap happening. And, uh, <laughs> there's definitely yeah. some crap. Yeah. And so we're gonna talk about it. So. Yeah, so the uh, the idea here is like uh, Kevin and I get inspiration for content for you guys from stuff that happens to us. A lot of times, yes. Yeah, and, and so good, good, bad, ugly, like we want to share it with you guys. And so like my list was getting pretty deep. You had a couple things going on at your place. And we're like, man, these are these are episodes that are coming up. We're going to be talking about this kind of stuff. Yeah. And so we want to just give like a little teaser yeah. as to what's coming down the pipe um, for, for the show because it's sure. stuff we're going to be wanting to talk about and so if you could if you're listening on facebook live just in the comments like you know tell us which one is more interesting to you so we get to that one first right uh, now some of them have you know calendar issues with them we can't talk about them until they're finished or they haven't started yet but we know that they're in the pipeline that stuff's happening at our houses and and so we want to be able to get that stuff out to you so be sure and tell us which one is most interesting to you because we want to be able to bring in on the best experts and yeah. and the people that have the most knowledge to talk about these kinds of things so that we can bring you the best information right yeah and uh there's a lot here man there's a lot here, and I know between what you've got and what I've got, there is plenty of stuff to talk about for a while. And we got some other really cool episodes uh, coming up as well. Um, in fact, I just got a, a reply from Solo Stove uh-huh. uh, about doing an episode um, kind of on that on that product. 
Um, I don't know if we're going to get someone from their company on or not, but we'll be able to, uh, you know, share their content and, and what that thing's about. It's it's kind of like this, uh, it's a smokeless uh Fire fireplace yeah. yeah it's awesome yeah. so there's there's a lot of other things we've got coming so anyway this is kind of a preview episode if nothing else yeah right? absolutely well and, and and to add on to that so we've got solo stove we also have a rep from pickle coming yeah. in uh, pickle is a new home automation app for your home uh, and it we tastes also, really good yeah, I like, yeah, <laughs> fire and ice pickles uh, oh, come I've, on i've not tried fire and ice pickles. are you kidding me i don't even know what that is but i'll tell you this i've got some pretty amazing pickles that i love oh, dude you haven't lived so well, you've had fire and ice pickles. Well, where, tell me about them real well, quick. It's it's sweet and spicy. Okay, I love that. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I've got, I've got uh, my favorite one is called a sweet jalapeno that I've got at my house right now. Yeah, is that is it the same thing or is it fire and ice a specific brand? Uh, fire ice is a specific flavor. I think there's a couple different brands that do that flavor. Okay, so I'm in. yeah, you can you can usually find it at the store. Maybe I'm top shelf. In. Um, it's kind of like where they put the good booze. Oh yeah. You know, top shelf right up there. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm there, man. Yeah. My wife is watching and she's actually celebrating your face. Whoa. So she does hate facial hair. She does hate facial hair. <laughs> she married the right guy. <laughs> That's right. So That's true. Cause it ain't ever happening. No. And I've looked into Definitely. it like the supplements. They're not worth it. <laughs> well, I mean, there's even like vitamins you can take just to, yes. you know, help, but like they don't, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I don't help that much. Yeah. Really? So what, what's the the new ones are the what is it keeps? I have no it's idea. It's like a new hair treatment. So let, let let me tell you the rationale I've 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 landed on with this. Okay. I would be too handsome. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. it's God's way of just you know keeping the ego in check. Oh my goodness. So I, that I look at. Let's look find at, out. Look. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> With a beard? Are you kidding me? It's, it's unstoppable. <laughs> oh, it's a stopgap at your house, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely stop some things. Yeah. <laughs> So Whatever. anyway, so why don't we start off with you? Um, tell us something that you're going to be uh, talking about in the future at your house. Well, so right off the bat, we can we can talk about. Uh, you know, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. There we go. So I want to give a shout out to Billy Myers. Okay. He owns Mac Property Services because he just finished a project I've been waiting to get done for like two years. So I just tagged him in the comments to make sure that he he sees this. Um, but we, the jag weed that worked on our house last time, yeah, didn't finish, and. I had to call him back like three times for like some big things that he didn't finish, but there was a couple little things that he didn't finish that he said he was going to finish. Sure. I'm not a jerk customer. I just like you to do what you say you're going to do. Oh, that's that's really not all that unreasonable. <laughs> no. So this guy had left grout. So he had unevenly placed a piece of tile. Okay. And I had called him out and said, look, man, this piece of tile is uneven. It's actually at the edge of the stairs. So we need to change that piece of tile out or re-level it. So you need to get all the grout out in order to change the tile piece. Sure. He, didn't have to, he, he didn't have to cut the tile. He just ended up being able to pry it out and re-level it. And it okay. looked fine. Sure. And he's like, I'm going to have to come back in a few days and re-grout it. No problem. Yeah. Um, also downstairs where he built a false wall for me, he was supposed to finish a, uh, well, actually that's, that's not true. That's not on him. That one was on me. It, we, we had decided to finish the shiplap wall on our, on our own. Mm -hmm. And I got into a project that was just over my head. So Billy came in and, and, and helped me finish that one out. It was a okay. shiplap wall that I didn't want. There was supposed to be a closet entrance. I just didn't want to have like a normal door. Yeah. So he built me a door out of shiplap. So it okay. just looks like shiplap and you press on it. It's a magnetic release and it just opens. It's kind Perfect. of like a hidden door. Perfect. So, but anyway, this, this tile thing, it's been sitting there like that for two years because after like day, like 25 of ghosting me, mm. like he's just, he's just not picking up the phone. He's not responding to text messages. He's not responding to Facebook messages. And he's like, it, it, that's his way of telling me. I'm done with you. I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. Right. And he's got all my money at that point. Jeez. Um, because I'm a nice guy, I knew he needed to pay the guys that had worked for him, but he just, you know, just wasn't honoring his work. Yeah. So anyway, um, Bill, Billy came out, and 
Billy is awesome because he is extremely meticulous. So you like if you live in the Montgomery, Conroe, Spring, Woodlands area and you need things done around your house, like done where like they look right and they're meticulous and well done, like he did the whole thing. Like he gave me the quote, he gave me the quote included materials, and even when his materials didn't work out, he went back and got the materials that he needed and didn't charge me extra. He actually charged me less than what he said he was gonna charge me. Wow. I mean, it was just he was just so awesome to work cool. with. And he's he's so laid back and just kind i mean he's just a good guy to work with so uh, anyway good good guy to work with uh hope lots of people give him a call if they if they need some projects done because he i mean he did my closet my my wife is so happy just with that one tile at the top of our kitchen i bet so which i mean like you've yeah you've been to our kitchen it's like that that one tile at the top of the stairs it had no grout in it right it hasn't for like a year and a half right and and it's probably just something that I mean, it probably didn't take him all that long to fix, but no. But I mean, it's just—it's just not, not something I can—I can, I, right. I can do it, but it wouldn't look as good as if he did it. Right. And I'd rather it look good. Absolutely. So. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. But but there was a specific reason that he was here beyond, like fixing some of those things, right? No, I mean, like that—that that was the primary reason. He oh, was that was here. it. Okay. But while he was here, uh-huh. some stuff happened. Okay. That he's now having to quote me. All right. To repair. Yeah, because you you had a little bit of an issue. Yeah, so, so do you want to talk about that now? We can. Okay. I mean, like, why not? It ties in because he's he's gonna be he's gonna be doing the work on that. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. I mean, because most if you listen to the show on a regular basis, at this point, you know my kitchen's weird. No, 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 that's not true. Uh huh. Your house is weird. My house is weird. And your kitchen is part of the reason that my it's kitchen weird. is okay. <laughs> Semantics so, matter. My, yeah. This is right. <laughs> my kitchen my kitchen's on the second and a half floor. Right. Which to most people like they when they hear that they're just <gasps> Yeah. Like it's not that big a deal. It, it's really not. But my calves it, are amazing. It, it, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Not right now though. Uh, Megan is saying she can't hear any audio. Let me see if I can turn it up for you, Megan. Yeah. Let me see. Check it out. Are you anything coming through now? Let us know. Definitely give us feedback on the audio and video. Um, but let me see if I can turn yeah. this up some. Yeah, we. I mean, we want her to hear this because she's gonna be mentioned. She's gonna be, yeah, absolutely. This, so yeah, figure out what's going on. Let me see here. Well, so uh, so while he's doing that, I, I will say that um, this what has happened at your house is directly related to how weird your house is, although it's not completely out of the realm of possibility that this would happen in someone else's home, right? No, I mean, because, not at all. I mean, because the reality of it is there's a lot of people that have multiple stories in their home, and something like this could happen, right? Yeah, Absolutely. So I, I adjusted the audio. If you guys are out there listening right now, uh, we got looks like we got five or six people listening. If you can, you know, shoot me a thumbs up or I mean, what are the other ones? Send me an angry face if the if the audio is bad. <laughs> That's fine. We'll we'll take angry faces. Yeah, it definitely got louder in my ears. So I don't yeah. Know. So well, it looks like it's coming through here. So that uh, we'll, you know we're always wanting to improve the quality of our audience's experience. That's right. That's right. So uh, thanks for kind of hanging with us as we uh, make the adjustments on the old audio. All right. All right. Hopefully Megan, feel ma- free to yeah, yeah, absolutely. Feel free to catch up on the replay on the audio. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, I mean, it's we are recording the audio well for the podcast. Yeah. But this is for Facebook that she's talking about. Absolutely. So, so hopefully, we'll you know, definitely let us know how it's going over there because we yeah. want to make sure that's the highest quality possible. And we don't know because we can't listen to it until after the show. That's right. So yep. it, where were we? Well, we, you were telling us a little bit about what happened, second and a half floor, all that jazz. Oh, yeah. So my wife calls me and says, like, we've got water on the first floor. And I'm like, what do you mean you got water on the first floor? Like, like, you want to go down there's the bathroom and the, the laundry room? Yeah, right. So, and, then, and she's like, well, there's water in the living room. Oh. I'm like, okay. Where's it coming from? She's like, yeah. I don't know. Well, that's not good. So we do have sort of like a semi-attic on the first floor. Okay. Which, again... With there being three stories, I understand that that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the void between the first floor and the kitchen. Yeah. Because the kitchen's on the second and a half floor. Right. Uh, it's where all the, uh, the what, what is that part of the air conditioner that's inside? The ducting? Well, there's ducting, the, but oh. there's also like the heating. 
Oh, the furnace. The furnace. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm like, okay, we'll make sure that like the AC condensate isn't overflowing. Right. Because if so, yeah. we'll we'll call Jehu. Yep. Um, and we'll get that under control. Yep. So the bad part about all that was is the ceilings downstairs we had just had redone at the same time as everything else. Right. And it was all beadboard. Mm-hmm. Well, beadboard doesn't respond to water very well. Okay. So now on my first floor, there's this giant bubble of wood. Jeez. Oh, so the, the upside is the way that they installed it, it's a full panel. Oh, that's good. So there's uh, yeah, no, because they just put full sheets up, right? Well, basically, specifically where the water was hitting this one was a full panel. Perfect. So all they have to do is take the trim down, mm-hmm. put a brand new panel back up, and then, you know, recaulk all the trim. Sure. So, I mean, like, no cuts, nothing. I mean, unless maybe they, you know, inadvertently uh, damage one of the trim pieces or something. Sure. sure. Should be an easy fix. Yeah. So uh, so we, we had to get a bid for that. We Someone kicked a hole in our downstairs sheetrock in our mm-hmm. mudroom. That doesn't sound like one of your children. Uh, yeah. And then, <laughs> then uh, we never finished the ceiling in our bathroom. Oh, okay. Which part of the reason we didn't finish it is because what we wanted was a really expensive option, mm-hmm. which is 10 tile. Oh, yeah. That's, um, that stuff is pretty cool, though, in the right setting. Yes. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's fantastic looking. Yeah. Um, and actually, uh, Brandy Banks uh-huh. actually showed me the place. I mean, she's got some really cool stuff in her house. Yeah. And she was she showed me the website. where do you, I, I forget what it's called. I'll have to look it up. I've got it saved on my phone. Yeah. Um, and it's it's Burke now. Oh, Brandy Banks. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Brandy. <laughs> I blame Craig. Burke Plumbing. That's right. Ryan Burke. Give me, oh, now to get... Okay, everything's better because we've now given a shout out. All the shout outs yeah, have been given. That's right. So yeah. anyway, so she showed me... The, and this is the, the, the 10... They actually put this 10 tile on the uh, bar to their kitchen. Oh, nice. On the underside. Yeah. It's really cool looking. Yeah, I bet. So and they're actually building houses now. Did you oh, know yeah, that? They are. Yeah. Cust- yeah, custom custom built homes by I mean, they didn't Burke. quit the other they're... stuff, but they're no, building they're houses just doing on that top. On... Yeah. Exactly. And I mean you know you know Ryan. I yeah, mean, I, he loves designing. I would trust things. him to build everything in my house. I would too. Yeah, that guy is crazy thorough. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. So Billy's got to come. He's got to send us a quote for all that kind of stuff because it all happened like while he was there. And I was like, well, Billy, send me the quote Mm -hmm. because I don't want to do it. Right. (laughs) No, I mean, nor do I have the skill to do much of any of it. Yeah. I mean, again, go back to the DIY calculator that's on our website at, you know, homeownershow.com. Find the DIY calculator. You can find out exactly why you don't want to do it. And it's somewhere in there about the do I want to do this? Uh, Yeah. Do do I want to? (laughs) Yeah. The do I want to is going to make this cost a a lot more money. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway. So, anyway, th- those uh, so all that to say, the leak came from my kitchen mm. from my dishwasher. Right. So, upon inspection, the frame on my dishwasher had cracked. That's that's insane. on the bottom. Yeah, and so that's a, you know, which, it's, a, it's a plastic frame on the bottom of yes. this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um which was kind of a blessing because had it cracked on top, it would have been a slow leak that happened over time. And would have, could have potentially caused like a lot of mold and mildew in the yeah, kitchen. Good point. Um, so, which leads us into the, the. It's not a blessing because you know we went one like I'm glad Megan chimed in because we interviewed her not, not too long ago about appliances. Appliances are hard to get right now, especially the nice ones. Yeah. That's so true. now you can walk if you're not choosy or picky like me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like we went to Best Buy on what was that i guess it was saturday Mm -hmm. and they had tons of models out on the floor that were as is uh models that people had bought and then returned right that they just needed to unload the prices were great they were they were unavailable right none of them uh, i know i'm weird i like having the same brand of all my appliances in my kitchen i don't think that's weird i just think that's being consistent I, you know, I mean, you I, can, I don't you, think it's weird at all. I, Not only that, I'll take it a step further. I don't only want the same brand. I want the same model. 
like like you like, want the package. Yeah. The, like, so for example, we in our house just happen to have uh, the Frigidaire gallery uh-huh. style, right? And all because the they they do the look same. different. They do. The handles are different. The buttons are different. The the colors like maybe there's more stainless or more black or or whatever. They they do. They look different. So if you want a consistent look, you need the same one. So I get it. Yeah. I don't think that's weird. Yeah. And and like and so well, the ones that we like are t- typically KitchenAid. Okay. Sure. We design we actually designed our kitchen around our KitchenAid mixer. Oh, nice. We have like this real pale teal green yeah. KitchenAid that we designed our kitchen around that mixer. Yeah. Um and it, anyway, so when we went to look, I was like, "Well, I want the KitchenAid." Yeah. Like it's just what I want. Right. And get what you want. So we had to go to like three stores and even to find a company that could even get it to us. Okay. So the conundrum we're in right now is we're having to wait till September 11th for our dishwasher to get in. Mm. So, you know. That's, and, a, that's a really big anniversary. Yes. 20th anniversary. That is a big anniversary. It is. Ready? Anyway, um, keep going. Anyway, we... we uh, so we're having to wait till September 11th, and it may not even come in at September 11th. Which, sure. if it doesn't come in at September 11th, it may, may make some d- other decisions easier. Because starting September 30th, mm-hmm. all of our cabinets in our kitchen are being completely rebuilt. Nice. So we're going to have to run the gamut of should we install the dishwasher before they start on the cabinets, or should we let the cabinet guys build the dishwasher around the new cabinets? I'm inclined to say let's let them build around the, the dishwasher. Yeah. Um, the, that, I mean, that's what I would do if I had the choice. Right. That's what I would do. But there's a 20-day difference after already being without for about 20 days. Yeah. That's a that's a, that's a a lot. That's it, like the amount of time someone might have been on like a big boat. That's a good me. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> So, it, it, you know, and, and so in perspective, you know, like 20 days, that's not that much in terms of thinking about, well, this dishwasher should last me 10 years. Yeah. I can go 20 days washing my own dishes. Yeah. No big deal. Yes. Whether or not I feel like that at the end of the 20 days. Right. It's, it's different. a different story. <laughs> it's like, how many paper plates can I buy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A lot. They're I, they're readily available. They are. And that might be a really good option. L- l- well, let me let me add this in there. I hate paper plates. I do too. I despise I, there's them. Not, there's not any that are really good. The, no, there's not any that are good. Even the plastic ones suck. Yeah, I don't so, I don't like any of them. No, I don't either. Screw you, paper plates. Yep. We don't like you. Nope. We never will. Nope. So don't even try and buy ad space on this show. I want the porcelain. Yeah. Yep. Give it to me every time. So I'll tell you this. Uh, speaking of appliances, um, <coughs> so the one of the most difficult appliances to get during the pandemic mm-hmm. was a freezer. Yeah. And, and not just freezer. There are fridges and different things like that. But freezer specifically, because here's what happened. Just shortly, well, no, about the same time mm-hmm. that there was this shortage of uh, toilet paper. Yeah. There was a shortage of food, yep. if you remember, and specifically a shortage of meat uh-huh. because people were buying all the meat off the shelves. And I think they walked by the toilet paper and went, you know what we're going to need if we eat this much meat? A lot of toilet paper. A lot of toilet paper. And so they buy, they buy like, you know, half of a cow and then they go home and they go, well, crap, we don't have anywhere to put this half of a cow. We gotta buy a new freezer. So everybody went out, bought all the freezers that were on the shelves, and then all of a sudden, no more freezers. Mm-hmm. So what do you gotta do? You gotta import new freezers because most of those things are made overseas, and nothing was being imported for a while. Right. And so, and and the ones that weren't being imported, they're you know manufactured here in the USA. Those factories were shut down, and so. You literally could not get a freezer. Like people were selling like these mini freezes, you know, that are half the size of a freezer for like fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, and people were buying them just because you didn't have any other option, right? Um, so anyway, we, we um, just I don't know six months into the pandemic, our freezer went out. Of course it did. And so we thankfully had this little chest freezer, mm-hmm. and uh, we loaded everything up in that. But it was time to buy a new freezer, and um, we we decided that we would. And so we did. Megan Anderson, um, 
from Renova Appliances. I called her and I was like, hey, what I mean, do y'all have anything? So um I I man, it was awesome. She was able to get me a, a slightly larger freezer and a brand that I actually preferred over what was it, like Home Depot. Yeah. And it was about ten dollars cheaper. And uh I mean the only difference was I had to pay for shipping as opposed to free shipping. Yeah. And when it all came down to it, it's like, okay, I know I'm going to get a lot better customer service. And I, you know, I know that they don't put junk appliances into customers' homes. Right. And that, so I, I just felt really, really good about the whole process. And so um, I'm excited to we'll, – we'll do a whole episode probably just kind of reviewing that and, and the process that it took me to get it in and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I, I was just super excited to finally have a stand-up freezer again because the other one was a chest freezer. And if you've ever had a chest freezer, they're – they're they, booger to get stuff in and out. Yeah, of. But you don't ever know what's in there. Yeah. I mean, it's like, okay, there's stuff at the bottom, but do I really want to go after it? <laughs> like, yeah. That's going to be a chore. And I was at a, I was at a dude's house not too long ago, and he had an ice cream freezer in his garage mm-hmm. full of deer meat. Oh, wow. And I mean, I was, that's, that's what this was. It was an ice cream freezer. Right. As I say a chest freezer, but it's an ice cream freezer with the, with the glass tops. Yeah, that slid, slides back and that's forth. That's exactly what this and is. Which was cool. What was cool about that is it did have the glass top. Oh. You know, so you could see through and uh-huh. you see what's uh-huh. in there. Yeah. Unless it got a little foggy. Right. Um, but but yeah, so I mean like it was it was just a, but like it had like still all the ice cream logo and stuff uh, on the nice. outside. And I was like, dude, you you bought out like some old like beat up uh-huh. uh gas station yep. <laughs> freezer. Yeah. Which probably works fine. I'm sure I mean it was I working mean, yeah, fine it when I saw it. I mean the the one we had worked fine. Uh-huh. Um I'm gonna probably try to, you know, just slum it off on someone that wants it <laughs> at this point, but um but you still have it. Yeah, I mean, it's still in my garage right okay. now. Uh, just because, I mean, I literally got the freezer in on Saturday, I think it was. No, no, Thursday. It was a Thursday. Thursday? Like this in. past Thursday? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, it just barely got full. Um, I imagine there's a lot of people mad at me. I have a stand-up upright freezer. Mm-hmm. I've had it for, gosh, four or five years now. Mm-hmm. I've never used it as a freezer. Wow. <laughs> Just sitting out there. No, I uh, so I, I put a temp control on it mm-hmm. to where it would only regulate the temperature at seventy two degrees. Okay. I was using it as a fermenter. Oh. Okay. So because you can you can get these temperature regulators. I mean they're like twenty bucks. Okay. I mean just you got to buy a box to put them in. And mm-hmm. they, it's it's real easy. Yeah. I mean, like, if you have any simple understanding of electronics, you can put it together. Yeah. It's way cheaper than buying one assembled. Right. So, and you just put a temperature monitor on the inside of the freezer, and it's a power control that you plug the freezer into. Okay. It only turns it on when it gets below, I mean, when it gets above 72 degrees. Interesting. So, it's great for fermenting. Yeah. You know. Stuff. Beer. Yeah. That stuff. And sauerkraut. Mm. Not that I would ever do that. I know. <laughs> I kimchi. I was wondering why you were... Okay. <laughs> Dude, do you like kimchi? I, I, I've eaten it. It's not my favorite thing. Okay. But, I mean, I've eaten it. So. But I don't know why you would go through the process of doing that when you could buy it. <laughs> I well, I mean, do it. Well, to, to be fair, the way that you uh, ferment kimchi is you actually bury it oh. in the ground. Okay. Yeah. I've never actually done it, but I would like to. Interesting. Sounds like a fun adventure. Speaking of burying things, uh-huh. um, I had a problem at my house recently um, that involved something buried. Pipe. A pipe? Yeah. So uh-huh. I, had, I had to get, speaking of Burke, I had to get Burke out um, because we had this weird thing going on um, in my house where the the so we got two two sinks in the bathroom mm-hmm. the master excuse me the primary bathroom primary bathroom um and you turn the hot water on and it would just uh it 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 rattled like it like it had a knocking sound oh and uh it, what was interesting is i just happened to see uh ryan out at a burger place one uh-huh. day i was like dude like after the freeze, we had this weird thing going on. Like the 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 faucets like knocking whenever we turn the hot water on. He goes, huh? <laughs> Just left it there. And I was like, well, what what do you think it is? He goes, well, does it 
do it on the other faucet? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, huh. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound good. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's never okay whenever your plumber says no, that doesn't good. sound good. Right. right? And so uh, that was one thing because like, you know, I, I don't really use the hot water at my faucet, but my wife does uh-huh. uh, to you know wash her face at night or whatever. And um, maybe you should try that. I, 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 <laughs> And then hot water is not going to help this. It's just not. Well, not the look, but the smell. <laughs> yeah, I've done. There's a reason again. we keep a six foot distance in <laughs> the studio. True. This ain't because of COVID. No, that's true. <laughs> um, and so the other thing is, from time to time, and this only happened like, I don't know, once every week and a half or two weeks, mm-hmm. uh, where we'd be washing dishes uh, in the sink and the water would start backing up into the sink. Oh. But it would only happen from time to time. So we had to get them out for, for both of those things. Turns out that the the bathroom problem, he fixed. they fixed in three minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, the water coming in to the hot water, the valve wasn't opened all the way. Oh. And apparently, some debris had gotten... So it was clogged. It was clogged. And so they, they actually... The first thing they said was, is it one faucet or two, right? Because apparently... That's what happens whenever your faucet isn't getting water to it. It knocks. Hmm. And so if you ever have a knocking uh, faucet, you, first of all, you need to take the aerator off of it, which oh, okay. is that, the little screw. It lets the right debris the, out. Yeah, and it lets the debris out. And so typically you'll have water flowing after that. So Most people don't know that that's even there, let alone that they right. can take it off. Right. And it, I mean, I guess it's valuable. Um I, most plumbers hate it because that's the fix right. to a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, clean that thing out over six months or so. Hmm. But they once once they opened it, there was then a lot of debris that it got into the faucet aerator. So they cleaned that out. Problem fixed. Nice. Voila. And then they had to run a snake down the uh, the sink drain and. They ran it like they ran 75 feet of snake out oh just, just to do it. Um, but they found something. It wasn't anything huge, but it was something blocking somewhere, probably in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Kids probably used too much toilet paper or something. And um, but anyway, so we, had, we had yeah, probably. <laughs> no one might cuss my son. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it was it was like a $200 bill. Okay, that's but, not bad. But the service fee is 125 just to get them just out. To, yeah, and then the 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 snake was 75. They didn't even charge me to do anything with the with the bathroom. But I, I was sitting here going, "Please take my money," because I thought you were gonna have to cut my wall open <laughs> to fix this yeah. knocking. I was like, "Please just take my money and leave for 200 bucks." I'm so happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's weird to be happy about 200 dollars. Well, when you're expecting thousands, I was. Yeah. yeah but I was like, this is. I mean, and I had put it off since the freeze, which was February. Ooh. I'd put it off that long because I was like, I don't want to know. It's been happening that long? Know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And so we hadn't had hot water in our bathroom since <laughs> shortly after the freeze. And, and I bet it was the freeze that did it mm-hmm. because whenever you turn your water off <clears throat> out on, at the street and you turn it back on, uh, stuff breaks loose yep. and stuff happens. You Bad know? glue and breaks got, loose. That's right. We've got galvanized pipe in my house. So <laughs> yeah, that's a mistake. It is. Whoever thought that stuff was the best is the worst. I, I will tell you, it's not difficult to convert your house to PEX these days. No, it's really not. I mean, most plumbers can knock it out in a day. Yeah. Which is impressive. Yeah, and 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 really, it winds up being cheaper than alternative, like regular pipe, because just the labor is so much less expensive. <coughs> yeah. The PEX is a lot more expensive, but the labor is a lot less expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, done yeah. easily. You got anything else going on at your house? No, actually, those were the two biggest things with the plumbing and the freezer, and, and I'm sure there's some other things. And I did have to, uh, like, clean out my sump pump the other day, which was kind of a nasty the one job. on the porch? But, yeah. Okay. Uh, but um, that was no big deal. Okay. I used my shop vac. Well, so cause I'm going to run through my list of stuff that we're probably going to be talking about. Yep. Run through it quick. Yeah. Just so, we, I mean, like, just, and, and let us know which one sounds more interesting to you guys so we, you know, we can categorize them. So one, we want to give a report on my DIY pool, uh, pool heater. Yeah. And how How's that's that doing. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll give an update on that. Uh, we're going to do, we're probably going to do an episode on my new cabinets, mm. uh, which really just means that Craig's wife is happy. That's, yeah. you know, between my face and your cabinets, she's good. Yep. 
as long as she gets that. Um, so one of the things that has absolutely changed my world over the past two months is automatic watering for a lot of the animals on the property. Oh. Um, and so I've been testing several different models and I just got some new ones in for the horse stalls, okay. which I'm excited because I'm going to have to do some plumbing in order to install them because they yeah. have to be, they have to be, you know, I hate to use this word cause it's not electricity, but hardwired in yeah. to the, to the water line, um, in order to use them. So they, I, they, those actually just came in yesterday. Yeah. Um, and then uh, my my garage gutting and remodel is in progress uh, at the moment. Okay. Um, and it, it, it looks pretty awesome. I'm excited. It's coming about. together. I will, I will tell you, my mindset on this has been I have hated my garage since I moved into this place. <laughs> Absolutely hated it. I hated it that stuff was everywhere. I hated it the way that it was set up. Yep. I hated the way that it looked. Yep. I hated the way that it felt. Uh-huh. I hated the way that the lights were set up. And so I was like, you know what? If you hate something this much, fix it. Get rid of it. Yep. So I threw out an 18-foot flatbed trailer worth of stuff that I didn't need anymore, nor did any human being need. Right. Um so I gutted all that. I kept all the stuff I absolutely had to keep and I gutted it. And I'm currently in the process of putting up new interior walls and lighting and it probably would be further along right now except I got a little bit of the sniffles this weekend and couldn't work. Right. Um, but on top of that, uh, my wife just bought me some new storage cabinets oh. for the garage, which I'm super excited about because they're big, they're heavy, they're metal, and they're on casters. Oh, that sounds awesome. I yeah. love those things. Yes. And are they? Did she get them from like Sam's? No, she ordered them on Amazon. Oh, really? Because I, I know they have some at Sam's, but but they're, these are probably better. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll give a full report once I get them put together. They just, I mean, like they literally showed up in my driveway today. Okay. All 300 pounds of them. She was. And do you have and, a dolly? I do. <laughs> Good. I do. Good. <laughs> so, but like when I, when I, when I was making my list for tonight to talk about the different things that we're going to be talking about on the show coming up, I was yeah. like, I started getting overwhelmed. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and that's not even all the stuff I have to do on my property. Like, right. I still need to mow. <laughs> Yeah. And that's not even on the list. Nope. And that's not even all the things. Like I have I have lights on my wraparound ports that need to be changed out. Mm. Um, changing light bulbs in my house is an adventure. It takes time. Yeah. So, I mean, like there's – it's not all the stuff, but those are just the big projects that yeah. we're probably going to be talking about on the show. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you, thank you guys for listening to this episode. We're glad that you could join us. Please hit the subscribe, the notification bell, the follow, the subscribe, the – what are the other buttons, Kev? That, 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 I mean, you hit most of them. Does your goofy podcast app have a weird button? No. No? It's a regular button. What's the button? It's a subscribe button. It's just subscribe? It's yeah. not like a thumbs up or a... No. Subscribe. Okay. Done. And, le- and leave a review. Yeah. Let that, us know. That's probably one of the best things you can do. Be, but after you subscribe, go leave a rating or review on Apple uh, Podcasts. That would be fantastic. Thank you for doing that. And uh, we, we do. We really, really appreciate you guys listening and tuning in. So... Yeah, we're here each and every Tuesday, and until next time, we'll see you later. See ya.